Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Liu, welcome back to my channel. This week I read an article that scientists have found a radical solution to our climate crisis and it involves potentially destroying our moon. So let's talk about what exactly their plan is and would it really be feasible? We all know that global warming is one of the most concerning issues facing our planet today. The long-term rise in the average temperature on Earth is believed to be primarily caused by human activities, doing things such as the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and other land use changes. These activities emit large amounts of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, into our atmosphere. And this will trap heat from the sun, causing the planet to warm up. The effects of global warming are widespread and can have serious consequences for the environment and for human societies that we are already seeing in recent days. So from droughts to forest fires to flooding and erosion. The effects of human activities on Earth's climate to date are irreversible on the timescale of the humans alive today. But what if I told you that moon dust, yes, the soil on the moon, could hold the key to slowing it down? Astrophysicists have calculated that firing moon dust into our atmosphere could reduce solar radiation by 1 to 2 percent. This could be enough to stop global warming. The natural lunar dust grains are the perfect size and composition for efficiently scattering the sunlight away from Earth. By firing millions of tons of moon dust into the atmosphere, we could make an artificial sun shield. These dust particles will partially block out incoming sunlight. There's just one problem, very small problem really, getting that moon dust into the atmosphere in the first place. We all know how costly space missions are. I even made a video about it previously that you should check out if you haven't already. I'll put the link up the top there. So the problem is that we need to get the moon dust first and then launch it up. Another thing is potential side effects. Tinkering with the atmosphere has unknown consequences on rainfall and drought on Earth. Anyways, there is one work around this. Instead of using the lunar dust from Earth and launching into the atmosphere, we could mine directly on the moon's surface and launch directly from the surface into space towards the sun. This would require far less energy than releasing it from a space station and there's an abundance of lunar dust already on the moon. When the dust is fired at the correct trajectory, it scatters into space and works as a sun shield. This idea, nicknamed Moonshot, was inspired from studies of planet formation around distant stars. Planet formation kicks up astronomical dust forming rings around host stars that partly block out radiation, providing them with some sort of protection. But when it comes to Earth, not everyone is convinced and there are much easier ways to repair the climate. These are things such as reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. And another thing is that since nothing stays in place in space, the moonshot proposal would require moon dust to be continuously propelled into space to keep global warming at bay. Otherwise, there could be a risk of what is known as the termination shock. This is where cooling is abruptly stopped and the world rapidly heats up again. We would also have to set up the infrastructure for lunar mining, space launch bases and more, even though humans haven't been to the moon in over half a century. This could take many decades to put into place and we're already running out of time. In any case, I thought it was a pretty fun idea to stop global warming. What do you think? That's all for this week's video. Let me know in the comments section below. Could this outlandish idea make a huge impact on the future of mankind or is this completely irrational behavior? If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe. Until next time.